Hi guys, people on YouTube. I'm here again to do my um, video. It's about replanting my plant. Um, repatting. <laughs> Replant. <laughs> repatting. <laughs> anyway. Oh God. It's uh, it's um, quarter past seven at night. So anyway, yeah, it's springtime. Obviously, we've still got plenty of lights about. Yeah. Oh, lovely sky. Nice. No clouds at all. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> So we're repotting it from this um, tiny bit plant with a slightly bigger one and into that one. Um, I know begonia don't really develop a lot of, um, what's this, roots. So I don't really recommend um, begonia to be transplanted into quite a bigger. It's not really big, big, but yeah. If you do this, you have to be very careful of watering. I'd rather have you um, transferring into a next size pot. So, yeah, but um, I've done this many times, so I'm hoping. Cross fingers, you never know what's going to happen next. So, yeah, so I just have to be very careful in how to um, um, watering it. So, this jar I have bought from... Um, a charity shop I can't remember how much not a lot um, so it got a hole in the bottom I let my husband have a drill it after I came from, from work so yeah and this is my compost mix it's um, Jan Innes number two it's um, a loam based compost pH 6 and pH 7 and yeah so I put a bit of um, um, regular potting compost so and mix it with Jan Innes and a lot of uh, perlite in it as well so, um, oh god <laughs> I need trip over oh god I probably got a big backside in my my my, my stool oh gee Right, anyhow, back to reality. So, yes, I'm here with um, half full. I've started it without you, though, so I said to myself, oh, why not make a video of it? So, I'm presently in my sunroom, which is um, surrounded with greenery. So... Mostly some of my orchids and my um, succulent are here. Um, yeah, and some of the house plants um, as well. Um, during um, some of my house plants just live inside the house. I don't move them a lot. Um, just a, a bit of palava keep transferring them every now and again. So yeah so here we go so my goodness me might um not enough potting soil here gee right here we are i'm nearly there so um nearly half there and i'll uh, I'll just cut this off and I'll I'll come back for you in a minute. Right, here I am again. Oh god knows. I don't know what happened in between those times. I paused the video and I put it on again and I was talking to myself and then so suddenly things not moving. I said, Oh my goodness. Right, so I can't really take the plant off from the part there because I've already but the man, as I said, I was keep going and all, um, um, puttering about, and then it's just so suddenly I said, uh, "Let me have a look." Oh no, it's not recording. So yeah, I took the plant off from this spot, and I normally take some of the um oils, the oils that. I can't pronounce words. I am tired. Uh, <laughs> I took some um the oil old 
compost you know the the old soil of the plants i took it off put them aside and then plant this plants i haven't even had a drink god knows i mean i mean alcohol drink even <laughs> right so where we are so i put them in there transferred it and it's still standing quite nicely and i'm still not finished and right i still have to put them up in um yeah so here we are don't you blooming stop now so yeah that's the focus in there so need some more soil there yep there we go i just lightly i know it's a big noise but just lightly just to Right, here we are. The plant is in front of me. Right, I have to put some soil in there as well. There it is. I have to put a longer stake because it's... Um, I have to buy a longer stake for this plant so that it would be know what I mean I don't know if I could find something for it to stand like that like that this is she beautiful she is gorgeous this one I was accidentally dropped them when it was still tiny there was a still tiny plant there from from there and I accidentally drop it and then that's uh, been cut off from there and I said Oh, I was so annoyed at myself when I dropped it off. I have uh, put it in the windowsill and it just stumbled over. When you touch the leaves, when you, you know, like walk and I just try to hold on to you and say, Mommy? No, not really. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it dropped off on the floor and cut a bit. That's off. And then I rooted it on the... It was too tiny. One was very tiny and it didn't develop any roots. But the other one developed roots and that was that one. See that? I'll focus. That's the one there. See, see it? Yeah, that's it. That's the one that's very cut. Um, that one. So, yeah. Um, so, that's uh, they from up there. Could have been bushier, but um, never mind. So when that went, when that was cut off from from that side, where are I? Where am I? And that was cut off from that, and then this one grew. I can't see if it's mostly. <laughs> So yeah, when that was um, accidentally cut off, this stem grew, 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 and grew, and that's it. And something happened. I don't know if it's a, um, it never went into under the sun. I don't know if it's a cold symptom. It's a cold um, damage, not cold symptoms. <laughs> oh, oh God, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's a cold damage, so yeah. So yeah, I really do wonder if it is a cold damage. Um, and that's the the leaf grew from it from that one. So I'm hoping if it is doing well, if this stem is doing all right, I'm sure enough it's a cold damage. Sometimes cold damage can be uh, similarly like um, sunburn, but um, if you caught it in early stage of it, you would know the difference, but after a while, you can't see it. Yeah, so here we are. So that's a plant, and I'll just have to stake it up. And then, yeah, so... Let me have a look at the um, further part.
and that is the plant itself never mind the view we'll just focusing the plant so here it is i'll take a snapshot at snapshot is that right yeah a picture of it yeah there you go so here you go guys i have to say good night and goodbye it's a quarter to eight and yes i hope you enjoy watching me and making a mess of myself i can't even speak properly so here we go good night guys i'm going to work tomorrow and it's quite a long shift for me looking after those um people who need care so bye for now